Wagwan family, manners and of respect, go ahead and mark yourself present by hitting the like button. Let me know your life and well, the man. Well, family, what we have here, the demolition man is at it again. The demolition man is at it again, people. Now, everything under touch, it burn up everything, every sector of government. Anything this man do, it's going to be bad for Jamaica. When you're corrupt and you're dirty and not clean, nothing good is going to come out of it. Now look here. This man changed the constitution to keep his friend in office, the DPP, to cover up for him and his corruption. This man want to normalize corruption and put everything into place to keep his corruption going. Just a corrupt man, the master of corruption right here. So now we have the deputy DPP is warning of possible exodus over the Prime Minister's decision to extend Miss Not Enough Evidence term. Do you understand me, sir? Do you understand what's going on now? So Andrew Ones' decision to extend his DPP friend, if you change the constitution, how you change the constitution to keep a friend on the job? It shows that the constitution means nothing to this man. Listen to this, people. The missive runs for 10 pages. It's just shy of 50 paragraphs. Kathy Pike is the sole signatory. She claims other prosecutors have opted to remain anonymous out of fear. Under the letterhead of the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, the senior deputy director launches a broadside against her boss, Paula Llewellyn. At the heart of Ms. Pike's contention is a claim that there are grave concerns about the viability and growth of the office of the DPP under the leadership of Paula Llewellyn. Ms. Pike has claimed that some prosecutors, though she named no one, have expressed a lack of confidence in Paula Llewellyn. The senior deputy director claims that under the leadership of the incumbent, the office has lost some of its most gifted legal minds. She says the attrition rate at the office has never been as high as it is under Llewellyn. Ms. Pike also questions how succession planning in the office will be affected by a further extension of Ms. Llewellyn's tenure. She argues previous directors have always facilitated a smooth and seamless transition. The senior prosecutor appears to suggest that others in the office of the DPP are interested in Paula Llewellyn's job. Ms. Pike notes that there are five senior deputies in the office one of whom is a King's Counsel. The letter specifically names Jeremy Taylor as only the second prosecutor to have attained the rank of King's Counsel on his own merit. It's not immediately clear whether Mr. Taylor is interested in the job of DPP. Miss Pike's letter names him but offers no indication to that effect. Miss Pike also paints a picture of poor preparation for trials on the part of Miss Llewellyn's prosecutors, noting that judges have been complaining about the office's inability to effectively prepare cases for trial. She calls into question whether effective prosecutions are being mounted across the country, noting that less than 50% of the prosecutors under Paula Llewellyn have more than five years' experience. She's also questioning why local prosecutors have not been representing the state at the level of the Privy Council. Ms. Pike goes further, raising the question as to whether the government's planned extension of the terms of the DPP and the Auditor General without consulting the office holders amounts to a breach of their contract. She's questioning whether due process is being followed in granting the extension and why the process is being rushed. She didn't stop there. In an extraordinary move, Kathy Pike a senior deputy director has called for an investigation to be launched into the operations of the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions to ascertain its viability. She's recommending that an objective and anonymous poll be conducted to ascertain from the entire staff of the office whether they are in support of and have confidence in their boss, Paula Llewellyn. She ends her missive by calling for a postponement of any further vote on the extension of the DPP's term in office. The letter is copied to the Attorney General, the Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs, the Leader of the Opposition, the Senate President, and the Opposition Spokesperson on Justice. 
the parliamentary opposition has refused to support the extension of Ms. Llewellyn's tenure. Efforts to reach Ms. Pike were unsuccessful. I just want to say to Ms. Cathy Ann Pike, thank you, ma'am. You are a true hero. When they hear people, the rest of the prosecutors in the office, they are scared to come out and talk. Fearful. Everybody in Jamaica is in fear. Police is in fear. Nurse in fear. Teacher in fear. Citizen in fear. Nobody can come out and come talk. Dictatorship are gone, people. And this demolition man will mash up the country. Now, look what is going on in the office of the DPP. Have you ever seen anything like that? This man should know you can't just pull off some stunt like that. But in order to for throw chaos right through the country, people, not but chaos. This man is designed to mash up Jamaica. Look at it. Look at crime. Look at the police. Hmm? Look what going on with them. Look at education. Look what going on with the teacher. Look at health care. Look at the roads. Look at prices. Look at everything in a Jamaica, people. What is going on good in Jamaica? Tell me one thing that is going on. The only thing that is going on is those tourists still come to Jamaica. It's not this administration who caused tourists to come there. Tourists will come there, whoever in office and tourists been coming to Jamaica. This man right here, so is a demolition man. Terrible. And he got to go. So I say, thanks to Miss Cathy. You need people with balls to stand up to this crook. You need people with balls to stand up to this crook. And I hope this is the beginning of many to come of people in these very important position, these very important offices who are seeing corruption and seeing things that should be happening. I hope they come out on behalf of Jamaica. Thank you for your patriotism, sister. Family, as usual, I am always a student in your guys' class. Make sure your comments make sense in every sentence. If this is the first time on this platform, you like what we are doing, go ahead and subscribe and make this place your home. If you don't like what we do, don't come over around here with no trouble. Hey, hit the button, find another page with a rage. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm out. Respect.